A lot of times I see ladies, I, I'm like, you know, my, especially like my friends are like, I'm trying to do my own hair, it's not coming out, but this is what you're doing. You're kind of going like this, you're just like, this isn't working, this is, but guess what? That's not how you flat iron your hair. So what you want to do, first <laughs> of all, is you want to section your hair. Now the single pass two that I'm using here, it does come with two sectioning clips as well, which is really, really helpful. So what I do is make sure that you section your hair, really nice clean sections, that's the other thing. Don't take messy sections. Believe it or not, if you take your time, it's actually saving you time. Because when you kind of rush through it, you're kind of going over and over the same piece of hair over and over. Mm -hmm. But again, with really good technology, this is the single pass technology in here, meaning one single pass is all you need to get the hair really smooth and sleek. If you want to get that really pin straight, sleek look for like a holiday party or something, you can. But I want to show you how to create a really nice kind of like body in your hair, like you got a blowout and you're still getting the benefits of um, the ceramic and the tourmaline that's in the iron as well. So David, quick question for you. Yeah. I see that you're starting on Orion. She's got dry hair. Yeah. Do you prep the hair with anything? So what you can do is prep your hair with a hair oil or a hairspray. It gives you a little, a little bit of more hold. Um, if you wanted to, you could blow out your hair before, but here's the thing. You're gonna spend all this time flat on your hair. If you don't have to, don't waste your time blowing it out. Just go right through. You're gonna see I'm starting right at the mid length, going to the ends, mm -hmm. and I'm using a brush so I can take a nice, really large section, going right to the ends, okay? Nice and sleek and smooth. Now I'm gonna go into the roots here, and I'm gonna separate it in half. I'm just using my fingers, going right there, just one little single pass there and then go right into here, and one little single pass here. So I got that section. Do you see how nice and slow I'm going to? Yeah. Don't go and start going like over and over, because that's damaging your hair. You want to just do one little single pass, and you see immediately, you can see her texture before. This is her texture before. It's a little bit on the dry side. It's coarse. It's a beautiful red hair, um, but it needs that extra heat. Now, David, I have another question from our chat. Hetty's saying, can this be used on fine shoulder length hair? Absolutely, but here's the thing that you want to remember. What I notice a lot of is that you turn on your, your styling iron at home and you put it to the highest heat setting. If you have very fine, kind of straighter hair, heat, um, heat damaged hair, if you have highlighted hair, what you want to do is turn it down to a lower heat setting. So right now I'm at five because she doesn't have color treated hair and it is very coarse and can handle that heat. However, if you have finer hair type, what you want to do is turn that heat setting down to about a three. So right here we have five heat settings. All you do is double tap this little home button right here. It'll start blinking and you'll bring it down to the three. But yes, absolutely. Just make sure you turn down that heat setting so that you don't kind of start burning or singeing your hair. But again, when you have the best technology, this is the tourmaline and ceramic in here. It's our own proprietary blend of the T3. You're getting all that moisture infusion. You're getting one single pass is doing the work, but just make sure you turn that heat down. All right, so I just want to show everyone how this comes because it comes in a beautiful gift box. So if you wanted to give this to someone as a gift, it's gorgeous. Also, it comes with everything that you need. So there is the iron itself. Here you've got two clips that come along with it. And the cord is actually really long on this. So if you've got, you know, your outlet kind of just a couple feet away or in a, in a weird area of your bathroom, it's really easy for you to be able to work with this. And it's from T3. And you know, T3 is a name that many, many people are familiar with in the world of hairstyling. And usually they have like these unbelievably expensive tools. Well, check out the value that you're getting on your screen here at Beauty IQ. This is coming home to you for $119, and you can even break up the payment over a couple months. And you get to try it out until January, so if you're not 100% in love with it, you can always send it back. But I'm dying to see more of David's tips and tricks because it's not often that we have such a great celebrity stylist like David. By the way, if yeah, you ever- Don't if you, butter me up, I'm already here. He has like here. the best Instagram ever, <laughs> ladies. Go to his Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I was showing all the ladies in the house, David. <laughs> I knew who you were in the hallway because we had Instagram stalked you. Oh my god, I, I really I was like, like the there's Instagram that really stalking. good looking man. Yeah, well, you know, I have two for that reason. I have like a, like my hair one, you know, showing off all which the hair. Which one did we see out there? I don't know which one we saw. I, if it was it, a lot of selfies, it's my personal one. Oh, oh we yeah. Saw, we saw, we saw the you first saw that one. one. You found me. You found me out. Yeah, you did. <laughs> hey, David, I might have missed it because I was running around the yep. set. Uh, now, did you say that this I, single pass to make it straight, but can you curl with this as well? Absolutely. So okay. what I'm doing, what I wanted to do with her hair first was get it really nice and sleek and smooth. And so I can leave it like this if you wanted to, but here's the thing. Right now, especially in fashion and especially in hair, the trend is really lived in hair, really livable hair. So what I want to do is show you how to add a little bit of texture. Okay. So, yep. 
Did he ask me a question? <laughs> no, no, I was just saying okay. He's like taking notes back there. Uh, yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, I know. He's like taking exactly. notes. Exactly. I'm writing things down. Making my job. Alberti's mm -hmm. a very good student. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I just want to show you, all you have to do is take nice big sections like this, and what you're going to do is start in the midsection of your hair, mm -hmm. give it a little gentle twist, and just go all the way down. And you want to make sure you hold on to the ends of your hair as well, so that it doesn't flop out. Because a lot of times people try to curl their hair and they're like, it doesn't work on my hair. I can't, I'm not quite sure how to do it. And look, all you want to do is get a little bit of bend in the hair. You don't necessarily oh. want to get like curl. Because right now this texture is like this really kind of cool girl downtown texture mm. because we're getting waves and we're getting curls. But how about when you just want to feel like, I just want my hair to look like I didn't really do it at all. Yeah. And when you have curly hair, that's kind of hard to do because if you don't do your hair, you're kind of all over the place. So you want to have that texture, but you can do it with the flat iron as well. I'm going to show you again, really large section. And here's the other thing. When you're going down your section, don't like clamp down really hard. You don't have to do that. Really nice and light. Give it a little half turn, hold on to the ends, and then just nice and smooth all the way down. So why the big section? The bigger section is so that you get more of a wave pattern versus a curl. I oh. could take, and I'll show you right now. I'm gonna take a really small section. In case you're watching, you've ever wanted to know, how do I curl my hair with a flat iron? This is why we call it a styling iron because you can do so many different things with it. So I'm going right here, holding it horizontally, going straight down. Now it's that's like gonna give me a, a ribbon, curl. Right? It is like curling ribbon, exactly. Now here's the thing, when you do this at home, be patient. If you're someone that has a little bit of trouble with it, here, we get a curl there. Oh, wow. You know what I suggest? Because what happens is if you get this home, you turn it on and it's hot and you get intimidated because you want it to be good, you want it to be like the YouTube videos that you watch, you want it to be like how I do it, but guess what? It's a little bit of a learning curve just like anything else in life. So what I suggest is you take the styling iron and leave it off so it's completely cool. Just get used to the motions. And when you feel like you're comfortable oh. with the motions, oh, that is turn it on idea. and then you can try or turn it on to the lowest setting just so you get comfortable with the motions because a lot of times you turn it on, you're doing it, you're like, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's burning, it's burning, it's burning. <laughs> and then you li left with this weird kink which is not chic at all so no. you want to just try it just while it's cool that's all you have to do but right now we're working on waves so that's what I really want to show you it's really really simple to do so Je uh, Jen has a question yeah. in our chat she says is there a tip for keeping your hair straight in humidity or rainy weather Ooh, good question. yes there is so if you don't want to rely on product here's how hair works hair is kind of like I don't know if you know this, but a long time ago, they actually used, used to use human hair um, nailed on, this is really gross, nailed onto the side of doors, and that's how they would measure how humid it was outside compared to how much it lifted. What? And how much yeah. Is so that if, real? That is real. Wow. So what would happen is the more the hair was curled up or, or frizzy, that's how they knew it was really humid, so from looking from the inside. Um, so with your own hair, you have to think about your hair, how you treat it before you dry it. So if you want to get it as smooth as possible without relying on product, what you want to do is start smoothing it out while it's very, very wet. Okay, and so w do we start smoothing it with like a blow dryer first? Yep, so you want it while it's very wet, don't rough dry it, if, especially mm. if you have very coarse hair. Don't rough dry it, just go right in and start smoothing it out. What happens is when the hair is wet, it's a lot more elastic, so you're able to stretch it out even more. Mm. So you're going to get a longer lasting, um, like smoother, sleeker look. Now, just to clarify, for everybody watching at home, this styling iron, you use it on dry hair, right, David? Use it on dry hair, exactly. You don't, I would never recommend you using it on wet hair. Yeah. I know some of you will type in and say, well, I use it on wet hair and it's fine. I just personally wouldn't recommend, especially to save your hair. But again, this is healthier heat for the hair. This is even uh, amount of heat all the way through. There's no hot spots. And that's the why professionals use something that's a little bit more expensive because how it's made. So you want to make sure you're using something that's made really well because you're not going to damage your hair in the long run. So now, David, I worked with hairstylists for a long, long time. And I remember like whenever you got a kink in the hair, uh -huh. it was always so, so hard to get out. Is there a special way that we can get it out with the with the styling iron? So if you have a kink in your hair, what you have to do is actually spray your hair. Just a, like a light mist of water will actually take it out. Okay. And you think about like hair being like a fabric. So when you have like your wrinkle, your wrinkle removers that spray, it's really that's moisture that's just dropping out that wrinkle. Same thing. So just a light mist from far away and then go over with your styling iron so your hair's not wet. Don't do it on wet hair. Just a little light mist from far away and then smooth out that little kink. It'll go right away. All right, so that's great. We've got a lot of great people in the chat. Christina's here. 
Tiffany is here. Yes. Tiffany Bucciarelli from Peter Thomas Roth is in the chat with us. And I Lisa love Tank Peter Creed Thomas Roth chat. so much. <laughs> so oh, we've got, wait, wait, wait. You're in do the right you, place. Do you love the masks? I am obsessed with the masks. You have no idea. Anytime I get a, I get a lot of compliments on my skin, believe it or not. Of and course you do. I, believe it or not. <laughs> and I'm always like Peter Thomas Roth. I'm telling you, I, I swear by their masks. They are so incredible. So those products oh. are actually coming up in our show. That's really nice. Um, so a lot of people are chatting with us, like I said. Tiffany's there, uh, Lisa's, Lisa's there. Here. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we've got myself here, we've got Elise here. And if you guys have any questions for David, um, let us know. Oh, so Hetty says, Where's what about if you have a cowlick? Yeah, you know what? I'm okay. so glad you brought that up. I actually have a cowlick. So. If you have a cowlick? Yep. Here's the thing with cowlicks. We're getting so many questions. Oh my God, I love this. Okay, so with a cowlick, <laughs> again, it starts with when your hair is wet. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna spin her around. So if you have a cowlick in the back of your head, what you wanna do, I'm gonna spin you around. Just as an example, she doesn't really have that much of a strong cowlick, but when your hair is wet, say your hair likes to split right here. Yep. While it's still wet, <laughs> take your dryer and just over direct your hair to the side and then to the other side and then to the other side while it's drying. If you let that cowlick dry in, it's there. There's no way to get rid of it, no matter how much you pull. So you want to want to do is root direct it while it's drying. So take it from when it's wet, just go side to side, side to side, use your fingers, put a little bit of tension in there, just smooth it out so that way it stays like this, nice and flat, versus nice. splitting open, which just tends to happen yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh, right, so, that's such a good tip. So you're looking at David and Orion, and you're seeing this beautiful hair, and you're going, wait a minute, what did he do? I completely forgot, right? Because <laughs> we don't remember what her hair looked like in the beginning. We well, have take to see a look her before. at her look before Look at this shot. before. OMG. Okay, wow. so look at how much hair she has. Look at the texture, look at the curl. Now, take a look at the after. Va va voom, but look gorgeous. At this. But here's the thing, and I want to say this: I love curly hair. Embrace your natural texture. But when you do use a styling iron, make sure that you invest in something like the single pass too, because you're not going to damage your hair in the long term. And now Orion can straighten her hair and smooth her hair. She's not going to damage it. Look at all this shine. That, can let me do a little show. Like her hair deserves a show because I love natural red. Turn it to the side like this. It's like an, this is how I do my Instagram pictures. I'm like turn your head to the side, lean over, get <laughs> the light. So look at all this shine that she's getting out of her hair. I didn't have to rely on product. That's that tourmaline and that ceramic infusing the moisture into the hair, giving me that reflective shine, giving me that body. So look, oh, we this looks like naturally straight hair. It doesn't look like a broom. It doesn't look kind of like no. thick straight. And it looks here's like the silk. Thing. It does. I can take all these ends right here. You want to give your ends a little bend. Just go right to the ends. Give him a little bend so it looks like a fresh blowout. Ooh. And that's how he does it for the celebs, ladies. Yeah. And that's how he does it on his photo shoots. And that's how he does it for us here on Beauty IQ. Um, so that is fabulous. If you want the same type of tools and look, you can get it home with the T3 Single Pass. It's the one inch Lux Ceramic Styling Iron. And you can get it here for $119 or over the next five months, pay for it and you know try it out. You have till the end of January. All right, so David is coming back a little bit later in the show, ladies. So I know some of you were saying how dreamy he was. Uh, he's gonna be coming back. Hopefully you'll hang around for that. Um, but now let's talk about our, well, this is like, I go crazy for I this. I know, we love, yeah. love, 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 love this. Um, this is really one of our favorite <laughs> gift ideas you know, here at BDIQ. It's so funny, I was like,